This was Castel Gandolfo, as death came to Pope Pius XII. For nearly two days following his death, the pontiff lay in state as thousands of mourners passed for a last brief homage before the burial procession to Rome. Never before had scenes such as these been permitted the camera, but for the Pope of the people, who many times departed from precedent to come closer to the multitudes he loved, it is but appropriate. A glass-walled hearse leaves the courtyard of the papal palace, bearing the coffin to Rome, along a route lined with throngs exceeding all anticipation. It was the first time in some 200 years a pope had died outside Rome. And in the short journey, the procession was delayed almost an hour before reaching the Eternal City and brief rites in the Basilica of St. John Lateran, Mother Church of Catholicism. Through the Via dei Fori Imperiali, where Roman legions once marched, passes the procession which is almost as long as the three and a half mile route to St. Peter's. Nearly a million saw the last passage of Pius XII through Rome's reminders of 20 centuries of history and grandeur to this sundown arrival at the great square of St. Peter's amid a glory of pomp and ceremony to be seen in the modern world only on the death of the pontiff. At sundown, Pius XII is born into the huge basilica by the Seggiari who carried the Pope in life. In somber majesty, Pius XII lies, as by the millions come those who mourn the man well and truly called in his lifetime, the angelic pastor, the white father, the pope of peace, the defender of the people. Last farewell, before his mortal remains are laid to rest beneath St. Peter's Basilica, amongst the holiest names of the church. <laughs>